three weeks, she'll have to decide whether to check yes or no for the $720 million mobility bond. Proposition 1 will pay for several projects in the city. They include adding smart corridors for traffic improvements on several of the city's busiest roads, including South and North Lamar, Airport Boulevard, and Guadalupe Street. The total price tag for the corridor improvement projects would be more than the bond at $1.5 billion. So to help pay for that, the city would raise property taxes by less than $60 a year for those who own a $250,000 home. The city hopes to secure grants from the state and federal government to cover the rest of the costs. The bond also features major improvements for the city's bicycle lanes. KXAN's Alicia Enns takes us for a ride down a lane of decision. Two wheels. I would take one mile trips, two mile trips. That's what Lynn Haas prefers. Eventually, I went back to school at ACC, so I started by commuting to ACC and avoiding the whole parking problem. As an avid cyclist, she's quickly learning in Austin, sometimes the wheels of change grind a little slower. I live one block away from North Lamar, and I can't go anywhere on North Lamar. It's a major barrier for me. And I would like to be able to use that corridor right now. I don't feel like it's appropriate. It's a problem she's hoping Prop 1 will fix, with $20 million going towards creating protected bike lanes. Lynn wants drivers to know helping those on two wheels won't hurt those who prefer four. They're not taking away lanes from cars. They're just adding an off-road path that anyone could take. Opponents say the project is rushed and poorly vetted. The contention that that it will relieve congestion is based on the premise that many of us will get out of our cars and use another mode. There is no evidence that that ever happens. While the wheels keep spinning towards election day, both sides urge you to do your homework. This is complete overkill. Uh, sidewalks and bike lanes on both sides of these corridors. We're going to lose so many driveways, so many small businesses. Alicia Inns, KXAN News. In Austin, there are rules requiring drivers to give bike riders their space on the road. Drivers passing a cyclist must leave at least three feet between their car and the cyclist. For large commercial vehicles, six feet is the legal minimum. The Austin Police Department does have an officer dedicated to bicycle safety. A poll released earlier this month from Move Austin Forward showed most Austinites asked think the proposed mobility bond is a good idea despite the price tag. More than half of those asked the plan to vote for it, asked about this plan, say they will vote for it. About one quarter are against it, and about 20% of Austin voters are undecided. We will keep you posted on how this goes in a little less than three weeks, Election Day, November 8th. All right.